Hello, welcome to this tutorial on Zara Designer Pro X9. Today I'm going to show you how to put a picture in your text. It's going to make this a little larger and type out Zara and select all the text and give it a little larger font here, a little bolder. And after that is done, then I'm going to bring in some bitmap pictures. I got some here that uh, it's going to demo. And after those are in, I'll delete all of them. They're actually still in the document. They're over here in the bitmap gallery. That you can also drag these out. So to get the picture in the text, you just select text, click on the uh, bucket tool, change this to bitmap, and change to one of your um, bitmaps. So what I want to do is put a shine across the top here so it looks shiny and grab this tool here make sure that this button up here is uh, selected for bounds creation and just drag the circle over here and turn on snapping so that you can get this into the middle and turn it off and change that to white and click the transparency tool just drag the transparency down here. Now I want to have the background black in here so all you have to do is drag a swatch onto the background and you can see the effect. Now there's going to be a problem here with the highlights so I'll select all this, hold down the control key and click the right mouse button and drag down and then press control 3 on the keyboard to cut it out. Press the V key for the selection tool and now change this back to a flat fill by clicking on the fill tool and go to flat fill and change it to white and then delete this one up here and turn on snapping and hold the control key down just bring it up here to the top and grab the transparency tool again and drag a transparency down now there's other things you can do once you have this done select the text grab the um, bevel tool drag out a bevel here and also uh, if you want to demo some of those other pictures you can do that with the fill tool and just change these see what you got and alternatively you can move the fill around in there with the fill tool once you get these handles you can make it larger spin it around whatever you like and you can also put strokes on the text right click here and do something like this so there's all kinds of different text treatments that you can do uh, with the with the bitmap fill on the text so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one take care now bye bye